Okay, so we've already gone and published using um, Business Catalyst or using the Publish button by just com simply coming up here and clicking and it wants to publish and it's going to tell us where we're going to publish and all that stuff. Well, we've already done that. What I wanted to show you was another way of publishing, which is actually using the built-in um, uh, up file upload to FTP. So I can just simply click on that and it's going to pop up this dialog box. And this dialog box is going to give me a bunch of information. So the first piece of information it's going to give me is what's the domain name. The next information is it's going to give me what is the domain name as far as the company is concerned. So if I actually take this and put it in there, you'll see it's going to actually take me to exactly the same site. So it's, it's just another way of showing it. Uh, any host directory, and often you'll have some um, website services that want you to do something like public underscore HTML. Um, my hosting doesn't require it. You're going to have the login, which is obscured so you can't see it, and then the password, which is also obscured so you can't see it. Now, if you click this store credentials, it will store that with your file, with your news file. If you uncheck it, all this information will be wiped out, and the only thing you'll have is that. So if you don't want to have to keep typing in the username and password, you're going to want to make sure you turn that on. The next thing on upload is you want to send up only the files that have been modified since the last time you put up, or all the files. The first time you put up, you want to put everything up. And if you're going to overwrite something, then you want to put everything up. But if you're just changing something, you would just want to click on um, only the modified files. So I'm just going to click on only the modified files. You can see it's gone out. It's checking to see what's changed. Really nothing has changed in my site. So it's gone out and the upload is complete. And now it's going to actually take me out and show me the site. And there you go. It's taking me out to the site. Now you can see I still haven't built the favicon for the site. And there's still some SEO things that need to be done. Uh, but those are all part of the work in progress. So that's really all there is that you need to do in order to create a FTP or upload to FTP. So remember, it's a simple come up to NMUSE, come up to File, Upload to FTP, and you'll get the dialog box. you get that information from your domain hosting service. And that's all there is to it. Pretty groovy.